Well, I started in the RV world uh, recreationally with a 40-foot Class A motorhome. Three slides, two bathrooms, five kids, four dogs, and I was the only one that drove it. Uh, and we loved it. We loved it. Our kids continued to come on trips with us into their mid-20s. But then they left. 40-foot motorhome was too big, so we downsized to a Class B van. Uh, it was a pleasure way on a Sprinter chassis, and we loved it. We absolutely loved it. Van life is its own animal. Uh, that's a story for another day. But while we're using the van, I came to learn that there's certain, certain things that we're missing in terms of the way we like to live in a van. The design, uh, repairs, ease of service, that sort of thing. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna tackle a van build. I'm gonna build my own van my way. Uh, so I did, I bought a Sprinter van, I started buying material, I did my research, I started to think about design, simplicity, everything must be simple, is what I said. And uh, I decided to film it on YouTube, so I created a channel, Humble Road, and every week I put up a new video, either of me modifying my pleasure way or building my new van. My basic tenant here was complete self-sufficiency in a van because that's some of the things I didn't like about the production vans. Uh, I had a Class A motorhome. I had a Xantrex inverter in that motorhome for 14 years. That inverter ran with five kids playing their Playstations and everything else. I never had a problem with that inverter. So Xantrex, there was no question there. I was going with Xantrex. This Freedom E-Gen, this lithium battery is UL listed. And to my knowledge, it's the only lithium battery that's UL listed. Uh, I have no worries with that battery. It's a 600 amp hour lithium battery and it's in a steel case. And the, the battery management system uh, takes care of all my safety concerns. I basically lived off grid for two weeks right out here in my parking lot. I would not plug in. I had solar on the roof. Uh, I had 480 watts of solar on the roof. I had a second alternator, as you know, part of the EGEN system. Now, all of the day, my coach was running off the solar coming in. It didn't really touch the battery. But then through the night, I ran the air conditioner. I had an induction cooktop. We ran that. My lights. Then we wanted to watch a movie at night. I have a DC television in that van. This thing never got below 60%. The, the YouTube channel has become my sales tool. And all I'm doing is building my vans and explaining how and why I do things. It's, it's very organic. I don't want this to be a 25 van a year company. I want to do four vans a year and make each one of them pristine. I want this to be a very limited, quality-oriented boutique.